In this video, I'm going to be covering ListKit.io. ListKit is a data platform that allows you to seamlessly extract both emails and phone numbers directly through their platform with a couple clicks of a button. And the reason why I'm reviewing it here today is because they recently slashed their prices by 50%, which makes it a lot more of an attractive option if you're looking to purchase data. So I'm basically just gonna walk through the pricing, how to use the platform and everything you need to know if you wanna check it out. So without further ado, I'll just dive straight in. All right, so diving into the ListKit platform here, First, I'm gonna show you how you can build out your own lead list, and then we'll dive into pricing. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can actually get free leads if you're looking to sign up to ListKit. But first, diving into the platform itself, you can see it gives you the option to either use predefined filters, saved filters, or start a search from scratch. So the predefined filters section here, you can see these are different filters that the ListKit team already built out that you can either plug and play and just export people directly out from here, or you can add on top of these. Personally, I like building all my searches out from scratch so I know I'm getting exactly what I want. The saved filter section, this is for whenever you like a search, you can actually save the filters if you wanna reference it in the future. But we're just gonna start a search from scratch here. So the way that you actually build out a search here on ListKit is you have these two different filtering mechanisms here. You can either filter by companies or by people. The people level filters, this is either the job title, the city, the region, the country, or the continent of the person. Or if you're doing the company level filters, you have the city, the region, the country of the company, or the different industries, tech, employee, headcount, and keywords of the company itself. You can also include specific companies. So let's say we want to build a search of just people from apple.com and we want to scrape different decision makers from Apple specifically. We can put their company URL in here and you can see these are all the different people that work for Apple. And then you can layer on the different people filters in the people section. But let's build a completely new list from scratch here. So what I'm going to do is remove this filter and let's just say we want to build out accounting firm. So how are we going to do that? We're going to go to the company attribute section here, press industries, then let's press browse. And then over here, we can type in accounting to see what type of industry filters they have here. You can see accounting right here. We're going to check this box and then we're going to wait for it to load. And you can see we have 1.1 million people that are listed as people in accounting companies. ListKit has it super nice is this data visualization tab. What this allows you to do is see the composition of the people in your search. So we can see here in this search, there's people from the US, India, UK, Brazil, France, you can see all the different continents, the different industries, the job titles, the keywords and the company sizes. And so this is really useful, because after we add in this accounting filter, we can see, oh, there's a bunch of different stuff in here that's probably ruining our search that makes it not the decision makers we want to be targeting. So let's say we want to target owners of accounting firms, you can see here, a lot of these job titles aren't owners, but we can see partner, this might be a useful or relevant title. So let's go under people and let's add a new condition. Let's add job title. So here's where we can add all the different job titles of the people we want to reach out to. So let's say, for example, it's owner, founder, partner. We can also do stuff like CEO. We can also do stuff like a uh, president. If you use the quotations here, it will make sure that it has the entire word president in it and that it filters that accordingly. So you can also use quotations to make more exact searches through the platform as well. But you can see over here, now we have the top five job titles. You can see under partner, it actually actually pulled in a partner and managing partner, which I also think is a relevant title, which again is why this data visualization thing is super useful. But now going back to the company section, one thing that we might be considering here is company size we're reaching out to. So let's say, for example, we don't want to target really small people, we but we also don't want to target massive enterprise companies that are going to be harder to get in front of. Let's say we want to target middle of the market companies. You can see our search is comprised of all different company sizes, but let's just target 51 to 200. So the way that we do this, we can go inside the total employee section here and then set it from 51 to 200 and press apply. And so list gets going to load, it's going to grab all the different filters. And then you can see here now we only have people between 51 and 200 headcount that have these relevant job titles. And then if we go back into the results table, we can see the actual people themselves, we can click on their LinkedIn's, we can check out their websites to see if they're relevant. But going back to the data visualization thing here, you can see there's a few more things that are left on touch that we might want to do. So let's say country wise, we have people from the US, UK, India, Canada, Australia, let's say we just want to target people in the US, there's both people filters for their location, and there's company filters. Personally, I think the people filters are more useful, but you can use both if you'd like. So I'm going to go over here into the people section. And then I'm going to go over to country and then I'm going to type United States. And so then this is going to filter out to people who own accounting firms, they're in the United States, and then you can see they have 
the industry of accounting and are within these total headcounts. And so now you can see this search is pretty refined. We can play around with it more, but as you can see, now we can see the different keywords. We can see the different job titles. We can see, okay, are these companies actually relevant? So you can see tax services, financial services, tax planning, business opportunities, franchise opportunities. Maybe we see that franchise opportunities, are these really accounting firms? They might not be. So we can X this out and put this as an excluded keyword. And so ListKit will filter that out. And then now those people are removed. And now we can see tax, accounting, audit, professional services, tax services, consulting, accountants, financial services. Just based off of these keywords, this looks already a lot more relevant. And then if we want to, we can click through the actual people, click through their website, click through their company, LinkedIn, and see if they're really accurate. This is just the search we're going to go with for the sake of this video. So now we can play around with the data visualization, make sure that this is exactly what we want, and then we can look through the results. And so now if we want to actually export these leads and use this in one of our campaigns, you can go through here and apply the max amount of people per company. Let's say you only want to have five people from any given company. That's where you can put this in. I usually like keeping this really high because I don't really mind reaching out to multiple decision makers in any sort of company. Let's just say, let's put 15 here and then we can press apply. And then now it's going to go through and we filtered it down all the way to 600 or so people. We can press next step. And then here we can list how many credits we want to redeem here. So you can see there's 673 people here. And if we want to scrape all 673, we can put 673 and press redeem credits. We can also save these filters again, if we want to reference this in the future, and then we can exclude people if we've already scraped these people in the past. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to put 673 and then we can redeem these credits. Now, one thing to note that's really nice about ListKit is that most other platforms, they don't do any sort of real time validation. For example, if you're using another platform and you export the leads, you're going to have to export it to a third party validation platform. The nice thing about ListKit is it's going to real time validate it. And then they're only going to bill you for the credits they can actually get valid emails for. So let's say, for example, we redeem 673 credits here, and it turns out that 20% of them are invalid. They're only going to return the 20%. And then they're only going to bill you for 20% or for the other 80% that were actually marked as valid. So hopefully that makes sense. They're only billing you for valid credits, which is the main selling point of ListKit and why the platform is super convenient. And you don't need to use another platform to run it through validation. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to scrape 100 credits here, and then I'm going to press redeem credits. And you can see the order is processing. It's going to take a few minutes here, and then it's going to email over the results. So we're going to wait for this to come over, and then I'll come back whenever the leads have processed. All right, so it's been a few minutes, and ListKit just sent me over the email with all the leads that we exported from their platform. And as you can see on my screen here, these are all the different lead details that we get. I'm probably going to blur some of this out because I don't want to just publish all these random people's information on the internet. But you have their full name, their first name, their last name, their company name, their business email, and all the different details that you could want, their website, their LinkedIn profile, their company LinkedIn. And this allows you to be able to reach out to these people at scale. If you want to plug them into a sending tool, you can directly upload these. And the best part is that they're verified, so you don't have to pass it through another validation tool. So that's really useful. Now going into other parts of ListKit's platform, if you click into your settings section, this is something else that's really great, is they have a direct API integration with Smart Lead. So with the API integration, you can just press one button and it'll export all your leads directly into Smart Lead without having to set everything up manually. Super useful, nice little cherry on top. Another thing that I didn't cover whenever exporting the leads is the phone number credits. So you can see here, if I want to grab phone numbers for all the people that I just exported and I had the phone number credits here, I could press order and then I could also place an order to get all these people's phone numbers. And you can also do this natively whenever you're exporting here under the people section, you can export people with email, with phone number or with email and phone number. I mainly specialize in cold email, which is why I don't use the phone number credits. However, if you want to do that, you could just select people with phone number and email or just people with phone number and then you can export those as well. And so then you'll be able to get the direct dials directly from the people themselves. So now diving into pricing, this is what the pricing looks like for ListKit. So they have two different pricing options, basically depending on if you're going to use the email credits or the phone number credits. So the phone number credits, they're more expensive like most platforms. It starts at $79 per month and it comes out to 500 phone credits, which is roughly 16 cents per credit, all the way down to 8.9 cents per credit if you go on their highest package option. Now for their email credits, which is what I use and what I would imagine most of you would be using as well, they just slashed their prices in half for this. They used to cost $79 for a thousand verified email credits. Now for $79, you get 2000 verified email credits, which is really competitive with most other data tools. And you also get the ease of use of not having to manually
manually upload all your leads into other platforms. So they're pricing really competitive, especially considering you can just press one button. And then also if you scale things up, they have higher pricing options, which you obviously get more reduced pricing on. So that's a full walkthrough of the list kit platform. I showed you how you can build your own lead list, scrape them and export them directly through their platform and have real time validated leads that you can reach out to. Now, if you're looking to sign up to list kit, you can use the first link in the description below. And when you sign up using that link, you get a thousand free leads just for signing up using that link. So if you're looking and planning on signing up, might as well just use that below. And if you're looking to have an agency come in and set meetings on your calendar, so you don't have to worry about scraping your leads yourself, you can check out our website, anevomarketing.com. And if you're just looking for free content, we have a ton of free stuff on the channel. You can check out the other videos. We have tons of stuff relating to cold email lead generation and B2B lead generation as a whole. So if you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. Appreciate having your time here together today and have a great rest of your week.